right, adequate notice of this May the 10th, 2018 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Sal, Sal, pipe down, thank you. Adequate notice of this meeting, uh, May 10th, 2018 meeting is provided in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act by posting written notice and agenda of the meeting on the bulletin board in the Municipal Building 1000 Route 10, Township of Hanover by hand delivering, mailing, or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Mars County's Daily Record, Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. I have a roll call, please. Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man Faramaska. Here. Committee Man Mahalka. Here. Committee Man Cahill is excused. He's at his son's graduation. And Mayor Francioli. Here. Four members in attendance. Here. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise and join me in pledge allegiance to the flag and following that, a prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. John. Almighty God, we ask that you bless this governing body with an abundance of wisdom and understanding so that every deliberation will result in actions which will promote the common good and the general welfare for all of the people of Hanover Township. Amen. 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 Please be seated. We have a proclamation as one of our first uh, order of business here. And it's a proclamation of the Township Committee of the uh, Township of Hanover commemorating the 300th anniversary of the Whippity Burying Yard and calling upon all of our residents to recognize the importance of this tercentennial celebration uh, Whippany Burying Yard has uh, arrived at historic standards in the state. We're very proud of that. Uh, and we're in the process of a great deal of restoration, as you see. Our Landmark Commission's been very, very active, uh, working not only on the stones and restoration of those stones, but uh, on the landscape of the yard itself. So, Joe, do you have a resolution? Yes, we do. Offer, this is the I'll proclamation of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover <coughs> commemorating the 300th year anniversary of the Whippany Burying Yard and calling upon all residents to recognize the importance of this tercentennial celebration. Whereas during colonial times, Whippinong was a vast unsettled wilderness in a province called West Jersey before New Jersey was established. And whereas Whippinong was first ruled by proprietors in Burlington, later it became a township known as Whippany ruled by Hunterdon County, and eventually Whippany Township was renamed Hanover Township. And whereas in 1718, schoolmaster John Richards donated a tract of land to his Christian friends and neighbors of Whippinong in consideration of love, goodwill, and affection for a meeting house, schoolhouse, burying yard, training field, and such like public uses. The deed is signed September 2nd, 1718, in the fifth year of the reign of King George. And whereas the Whippinong Burying Yard, as it is historically known, was established before the United States of America was conceived, before New Jersey was a state, before Morris County was founded, and before Hanover Township existed. Whereas the Whippinong Burying Yard is the oldest colonial graveyard in Morris, Sussex, and Warren counties. And whereas the Whippinong Burying Yard hosted the first church and the first school in what is now Morris County. And whereas the Whippinong Burying Yard contains the earliest artifacts in Morris County. The first carved stone in the Whippany Burying Yard is marked 1718. And whereas the Whippany Burying Yard, as it became to be called, is listed on the national and state registers of historic places. And whereas the Township of Hanover is the caretaker of the Whippany Burying Yard, since the Whippany Cemetery Association dissolved and transferred its administration and maintenance to Hanover Township. And whereas 11 Revolutionary War soldiers are buried at the historic Whippany Burying Yard, and whereas two of Morris County's first governing, ju first governing judges, now known as freeholders, are buried at this historic site, 
And whereas the Whippany Burying Yard contains over 300 marked graves and countless unmarked graves. And whereas 2018 marks the 300th anniversary of the Whippany Burying Yard. And whereas the Township Committee, the governing body of the Township of Hanover, believes it is fitting and proper to pay tribute to an important historical landmark in the Township of Hanover with the adoption of this proclamation. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover and the County of Morrison State of New Jersey as follows. One, in recognition of its tercentennial, the governing body hereby commemorates the 300th year anniversary of the Whippany Burying Yard, an important historical landmark of the Township of Hanover. And two, the governing body calls upon all residents of Hanover Township to recognize and appreciate this important landmark in the history of our township. Signed, Ronald F. Francioli on behalf of the Township Committee. Very nice, Phil. Thank you. Michael, you can come forward and accept the proclamation for the T uh, Landmark Commission. Or your members want to come forward with us for a photo? <coughs> How's that? <coughs> Well, um, well, that's Brian, Brian Hill, Hill, right? Brian. Yeah. 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 The landmark commission on the work that we do. We now have a hedge. It's only taken 300 years to get that hedge. Uh, tonight, uh, we have two things, and I'm done. Uh, thing number one is that the 300th uh, anniversary, September 2nd, is going to be celebrated by a brunch, which we are gathering the old families in October. And the last time that we know of that a gathering of the old families happened was 157 years ago. So this is going to be the start of our recording, videotaping, of uh, the living stories that we have in town for the people who, who have been born here. The second thing is that Whippany is now getting, Hanover Township is now getting national attention uh, in that the National Trust for Historic Preservation, which is... Congress founded it. It has three quarters of a million members. Their national magazine in February has the Whippany Burying Yard, a full page article. And I'd like to give the Township Committee uh, 27 copies of it so that you can share it among yourselves and nice. give to those people. <clears throat> so, and then picture. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Let's get everybody out of here. Mike, is this the first time that you've ever had a picture taken? You don't scooch in the on the firing spot. I'm not sure. I think technically it's not allowed. It's not allowed. That's possible. What do you want to do? Um, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cam. Get done and well, I'll get it. Mr. Mayor, if I may, to add some uh, light, light, to lighten up this uh, August party, uh, I did come ready to hear a speech, say a speech. I didn't even realize this was on the agenda, but uh, I would like to ask one question, okay? Do I still have the right to be buried there when I die? Because if you remember, when we took it over, if you, and you were there, uh, Peter Skirler, who headed up that group, we retained the right for the township committee at that time to be buried there. And as a matter of fact, Arthur Albone is married there. He is. And I think you know that, right? Okay, but I still have the right to be buried there. 
So I want to know, is that going to be respected or not? I'm 95 years old, I'll and it won't it, be long. I'll dig it myself. Well, no, <laughs> they have to say now. <laughs> but I thought I'd lighten up. That, no, I'm going to be that, with, I'm going to be with my wife in the crypt over at a Rolling Hot. Is that your wish, or do you want to be with your bride? I would think you're going to That's want to right, be, I'm with, be with my bride. I think you're going to want to be with your bride. Hundred more right. years, <laughs> Sal. A hundred more years of good health. Yeah. I have no fear. But that won't stop us from putting a little marker in that in that area for you. How's that? You know, could do that. Thank you, Sal. Does that? Uh, Satisfy the open portion of the bubble <laughs> meeting. No. No. Yes, <laughs> okay, at this time, gentlemen, a uh, motion to open the so floor to the public. Second. Not, not appearing on the agenda. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. Anyone who would like to address the township committee may do so from the podium. Please give us your name and address for the record. Good evening, guys. Uh, Justin Evans, Auto 20 Orchard Place, Cedar Knolls. Frank Andolino, 11 Orchard Place, Cedar Knolls. So um, for those of you who don't know, um, I spoke to a couple of you. We've been talking about the speed bumps for the last uh, about year, year and two months uh, on Orchard Place. <clears throat> two weeks ago, um, we had a terrible, could have been a really fatal accident on Orchard Place. Um, a driver went up as fast as he possibly could. When Frank told him to slow down, he veered into Frank trying to hit him. Uh, Frank had to jump out of the way, then follow him in his car called the police, incident and all that. I can't express enough how dangerous our street is. I have a daughter, I have a dog, and I have a wife. Today alone, I asked someone to slow down. I was given the finger and told to, okay? It's every single day. And it's been over a year. I don't know what else to do here. Okay, that's, I don't know what else to say. We, we have, uh, just to bring ourselves up to date with this, John, do you want to answer that? Yeah, we, I, we, we have scheduled, or I don't know that we have scheduled, but we, we have appropriated right. for those bumps. And um, do you have a uh, timeline? Yeah, line? I get a time. Let's a time give you an line. answer. Thank you. Um, Township <laughs> Committee totally understands and is working very closely with, with <clears throat> the Chief of Police, yeah, um, Public okay. Safety, that's our job number one. We hear things like this, it's outrageous. It's outrageous, it's uncalled for. You live on a residential block. Um, people should be treating residential areas with, with courtesy and obeying the speed limits. With all of that said though, where are we in terms of um, implementing the plan? The plan is to put speed tables on both Prospect and Orchard. So the, the, the quotes will be put out May 14th we're going to go after quotes. We will receive quotes by May 31st. And the timing on this for implementation, we're targeting the month of June. Perfect. Why the month of June? That's fine. That's because yeah. we need to, this is a hand tool operation that I understand from an engineering department. Our engineer can talk more about it. But um, gentlemen, we totally hear you. And we are moving on it. We wish we could move even faster on it. But that's where we are. Honestly, June is perfect. I just wanted a date. So I really, really appreciate the support. And thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You know, I have one comment for you, too. Go ahead. When I spoke to your wife, uh, she talked to me about the importance of having it done by the summer. She was very concerned about the way the kids drive in the summertime. I immediately shared that with the entire governing body. And that timeline that John just read, we got right from engineering. Thank and you. we're all keeping an eye on that timeline. And Perfect. we're going to do everything we could to make sure they're up there. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Um, it, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. You know, the, the streets that we have in, in some of our areas, and these particular orchard being one of them, but if you look at most of the upper Cedar Knolls area, the earlier streets off of Ridgedale Avenue are narrow, maybe 25, 26 feet wide. Um, and personally, uh, I can tell you, I've been past driving up those streets which I found is absolutely ridiculous. So we, we are very sympathetic to what has to be done. Uh, we use speed bumps effectively. We've got some on Country Woods now. We've got certainly got them on McNabb for the cut-throughs. Uh, and uh, they do work. They do work. So we're, we're hoping to get them in. As the schedule says, by June, we hope to have it resolved. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank, you. You. Thank you. Anyone else like to be heard at this time? Hearing none, seeing none, motion to close. So moved. Second. In favor? Aye. Mr. Administrator. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. They're, now they're on for.
<coughs> oh, 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 for a uh, for a pig, yeah, yeah. yeah. Administrator <laughs> reminds me, we've got a scout in the audience with us. All right, are you here to take in one of our public meetings? Yes, sir. A uh, part of a part of a uh, assignment to uh, for badge, uh, government assignment. Very good. Well, welcome. Nice to have you here. And uh, at the same time, and uh, hope, hopefully, uh, you'll observe uh, how your government works. So it's great. Thank you. Very good. Mr. Administrator. Thank, thank you. <coughs> okay, we have the approval of the regular township committee minutes of <coughs> April 26, 2018. May we have a motion for approval? So move. So move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved. We have one item of communication. We have a letter of retirement that was submitted by our mechanic, Harry Williams. And the letter say, it states, Dear Township Committee, I will be retiring from the Public Works Department as of July 1st, 2018. So in keeping with the policy of the township, we need a motion to accept Mr. Williams' uh, retirement. So moved. We have a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. So accepted. We have the following department reports on file in the Business Administrator Township Clerk's Office, and they are available for public inspection. We have the reports of the Superintendent of the Public Works, Buildings and Grounds, and Park Maintenance Department for all activities conducted by the department during April 2018. The uh, township engineer has submitted two reports, one dated today and one from April 26, 2018, listing all the progress on the capital projects. That's his status report. And finally, we have the report of the property maintenance officer. She has submitted her report as of today on all property maintenance activities conducted during the month of April. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with the agenda, we have two ordinances for consideration of public hearing and final approval. The first is docketed as ordinance number 9-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, amending and supplementing Chapter 166 of the Code, entitled Land Use and Development Legislation, by amending certain provisions concerning fences and walls located in the front yard. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the uh, April 17th issue of the Daily Record. We also have a transmission from the Morris County Office of Planning and Preservation that the ordinance was filed in accordance with the municipal land use law. And finally, we have a report and recommendation from the Hanover Township Planning Board having reviewed the ordinance upon introduction in accordance with the municipal land use law. And the uh, letter specifies that the board uh, feels that the ordinance is consistent with the use and development policies in the master plan and recommends the adoption of ordinance number 9-2018 as introduced. So at this time, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing? So moved. So Second. moved by Mr. Thermoska, uh, seconded by Mr. Francioli. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Thermoska? Aye. Mr. Mihalko? Yes. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. Is there anyone <laughs> present wishing to be heard concerning <coughs> ordinance number 9-2018? Motion to close. Seeing none, hearing Second. none, we have a motion to close. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor, Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Faramaska? Aye. Mr. Mihalko? Yes. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. Now on adoption, be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township mm -hmm. of Hanover, amending and supplementing Chapter 166 of the Code of the Township, entitled Land Use and Development Legislation, by mm -hmm. amending certain provisions concerning fences and walls located in the front yard be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the May 16th issue of the Daily Record. So at this time, may we have a motion on adoption. So moved. So, so moved by Mr. Gallagher. Second. Second by Mr. Francioli. This is a roll call on adoption. <coughs> Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramasco. Aye. Mr. Mihalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. 
so adopted. <clears throat> and as we continue, ladies and gentlemen, the second ordinance for public hearing and consideration of adoption is docketed as ordinance number 10-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover authorizing the purchase of one new 2019 Ford F-350 regular cab gas 4x4 pickup truck plus options from DFFLM trading as Deichman Flemington Ford pursuant to contract number 15C item 11 awarded by the Morris County Cooperative Pricing Council and further appropriating the sum of $40,000 from the 2018 Capital Improvement Fund and all prior years for the financing of the purchase of the pickup truck. We have the proof of publication that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the April 17th issue of the Daily Record. So at this time, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing? So, so moved by second. Mr. Francioli, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call for public hearing, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferromosco. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Is there anyone in chambers wishing to speak concerning ordinance number 10-2018? Motion closed. We second. We have a motion to close by Mr. Uh, Francioli, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Ferramosca? Aye. And Mr. Mahalko? Yes. And Mr. Francioli? Aye. Now, on adoption, be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover in the County of Morris and State of New Jersey, authorizing the purchase of one new 2019 Ford F-350 regular cab gas 4x4 pickup truck plus options from DFFLM LLC trading as Deichman Flemington Ford pursuant to contract number 15C item 11 awarded by the Morris County Cooperative Pricing Council and further appropriating the sum of $40,000 from the 2018 Capital Improvement Fund in all prior years for financing the purchase of the pickup truck be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the May 16th issue of the Daily Record in accordance with law. May we now have a motion on adoption. So moved. So moved by Mr. Francioli. Second. Second by Mr. Gallagher. Roll call for adoption. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosco. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So adopted and approved. Ladies and gentlemen, now we continue on page two of your agenda. We have four <coughs> ordinances for introduction at this time. The first is docketed as ordinance number 12-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover in the County of Morrison State of New Jersey, authorizing the installation and construction of four foot, four foot wide asphalt sidewalk along North Jefferson Road from Fannick Road to Nye Avenue in the Whippany section of the township and appropriating the sum of $80,000 from the township's 2018 current fund budget and the unallocated account of the township's 2018 capital improvement fund and all prior years for the financing of the project. The ordinance will be further considered for public hearing and final passage here in the main chambers of the municipal building at 8.30 p.m. on June 14th. And at that time, any person wishing to be heard concerning the ordinance will be given the opportunity to speak. The ordinance and the notice of introduction will also be published in the Morris County Daily Record on May 16th. At this time, may we have a motion for introduction? So moved. So moved by Mr. Ferramosca. Second. Seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher? Aye. Mr. Ferramosca? Aye. Mr. Mahalko? Yes. 
and Mr. Francie Owen. Aye. So introduced. Jerry, this is along our right of ways, right? We've got all That's correct, yes. We've, we've, all on the right of ways. It, it is on the right of way. We have a design completed. Yes. Next item, ladies and gentlemen, is ordinance number 13-2018. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover authorizing the purchase and installation of two new dispatch console workstations including but not limited to furniture, cabinets, lateral file, power supply, software, all related labor and material costs, and 30 portable radios and appurtenances for the police department in accordance with current and valid New Jersey state contracts and further appropriating the sum of $300,000 from the Township's 2018 Capital Improvement Fund and all prior years for the financing of the project. This ordinance will be further considered for public hearing and final passage at a meeting of the Township Committee here in the main meeting room on the 14th of June at 8.30 p.m. And at that time, any person wishing to speak on the ordinance will be given an opportunity to be heard. The ordinance and the notice of introduction will appear in full in the daily record in accordance with law. And this is part two of a uh, ongoing project at police headquarters. The first part in 2017 was the installation of a new 911 enhanced system. And this is part two with the new consoles for police headquarters. So at this time, may we have a motion for introduction. So, so moved. So moved by Mr. Gallagher and Mr. Faramaska. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Yes. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So introduced. <clears throat> Ordinance number 14-2018 is an ordinance of the Township Committee Amending and supplementing section 53-25 entitled classification standards and section 53-29 entitled residency requirement under chapter 53 of the Code of the Township, <coughs> excuse me, entitled police department by establishing the category of class three special law enforcement officers in accordance with state statute at 48-14-146.10. This ordinance will be further considered by the Township Committee on uh, June 14th at 8.30 p.m. here in the main meeting room. And again, any person wishing to be heard concerning the uh, ordinance will be given the opportunity to speak concerning the ordinance. The ordinance and the notice of introduction will appear in full in the daily record in accordance with law. May we now have a motion on introduction? So moved. So moved by Mr. Gallagher. Second. Second by Mr. Faramaska. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So introduced. Final ordinance for introduction, ladies and gentlemen, is a land use and development ordinance. It's an ordinance of the Township Committee amending and supplementing Chapter 166 of the Code of the Township entitled Land Use and Development Legislation by amending the building height, separation, and or yard requirements for principal buildings in the R40, R25, R15, R10, OBRL, OB, hyphen RL3, the I, the I2, IB3, the IP, IP2, I5, IR, and PU districts by amending the height requirements for accessory buildings in the non-residential zone districts and by amending the separation requirements for institutional uses. This ordinance will be further considered for public hearing and final passage. Also, at a township committee meeting on Jan uh, June 14th at 8.30 p.m. And once again, any resident and citizen of the township, anyone present, will be given the opportunity to be heard if they desire to speak at, this, uh, at the public hearing on the ordinance at 8.30 p.m. on the 14th. And the ordinance and the notice of introduction will be published in full in the daily record pursuant to law. 
May we now have a motion on introduction? So moved. So moved by Mr. Ferramosca. Second. Second by Mr. Gallagher and Mr. Francioli. On roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosca. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So introduced. We continue, ladies and gentlemen, now the resolutions as a consent agenda on page three and four. Uh, do we have any questions from members of the Township Committee concerning any of the resolutions? A motion to accept. Okay, we have a motion Second. to uh, approve the consent agenda. Second. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosco. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. <laughs> and as we conclude with the, um, as we continue rather, we have uh, <laughs> Payment of bills, seven million eight hundred seventy-five thousand eighty-eight dollars and fifty-eight cents. Move to pay the bills. We have a motion by Mr. Ferramosca. We have a second. Second. Second by Mr. Mahalko. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Uh, uh, Ferramosca. Aye. <laughs> Mr. Mahalko. Yes. <laughs> and Mr. Francioli. Aye. So approved. Getting a little punchy. That's all. And raffle applications. Uh, any questions about any of the raffle applications? Seeing none, hearing none, may we have a motion on the approval of the raffle application? So moved. So moved by Mr. Francioli. Second. Second by Mr. Ferramosca. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosca. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. You made it. <laughs> okay. You Thank made you. it. Okay, very good. Uh, gentlemen, once again, I'd like to open the floor uh, to the public. A motion to so open. So moved. We've been seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the floor is open. Anyone who would like to address the township committee can do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Seeing none, hearing none, motion to close. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Gentlemen. Okay, at this point, hey, Committeeman Gallagher, any comment? We got a, a lightning uh, round for you tonight, Ron. Oh. First of all, Billy's Red Room. Yep. What we're waiting for now is a disconnect letter from the gas company. You know, yes. That's I'm a little disappointed for. because we sent an immediate text message mm -hmm. from yours truly's phone to our contact at the gas company a week ago, and there has been no resolve. Sean had contact today. They say it's going to be almost right away. So in two weeks, I hope I'm not telling you guys we're waiting for a gas disconnect letter. Yeah. But I will update every two weeks and we will have a small conversation about it. John wants it done by Memorial Day Parade, and that's fine. But that's where we are at Billy's Red Room. Okay. Uh, we had the Whippany 5K, uh, Whippany Fire Department 5K last Sunday. It was raining, it was cold, there was a lot of people, it was a lot of fun, and it was great to see everybody out there running. Uh, I said that I didn't run because I had my boots on, but <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't really been that active with physical fitness in that area lately for a while. Uh, the Ed Foundation is having their 5K on June 9th. There's still uh, the opportunity to sign up right until the race begins, so that should be a lot of fun too. Hanover Township's big night out is going to be at Whippany Park High School, Friday night, June 15th. Uh, the Substance Awareness Council right now is talking uh, in earnest about getting a very good national speaker to come to our schools oh, and meet with our family. And, you know, that was a big initiative by this governing body to put a line item, this is our second year, to get a national speaker and to get a lot of people to get a positive message and bring that message out and hopefully uh, it can help us in many areas of uh, our fight against drugs and alcohol. Brief. School and Park Traffic Safety put out their springtime safety message. The weather's getting nice. You're seeing more and more kids walking, running, riding bicycles. Just please be careful and we're also, also sharing with the schools, asking the children to be a little more careful. Um, the one thing I want to say, which is off script, and I think it's very important because all of us are parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters, is now with the nice weather and the fact that it's been very wet, we're hearing a lot of information about ticks and tick-borne illnesses. My older brother Dan had Lyme disease, and he still does, and it changed his life. So please, just be very careful. I'm not going to recommend using repellent because some people don't think it's safe and some, some people don't think it's good for the environment, but please be careful. My brother got his tick from his dog. He was watching TV. He never went outside. He, he just played his guitar, and he got a tick from his animals. He can get a tick almost anywhere. So please just check yourself out. Check out your kids. 
and there's a lot of different techniques. But yeah, we're going to update you. And Ron's on the health department. We're probably going to be releasing information because it's the more and more I read about it, the more nervous I am and, uh, and very concerned for so many people that we all love and care about. Uh, the second thing I'm going to tell you, and now I sound like I'm getting old, I won't say which doctor, but one of my doctors every year tells me that I'm skin cancer waiting to happen because I'm so fair. We also have to be very careful about the sun and the amount of time we're out there and, uh, and our loved ones because I wear a number 50. I'm exposed quite a bit, but don't think I'm not nervous every year when I go for the skin checks. And I know Committeeman Mahalko and our town sponsors skin checks. And that's not just something to go there and have a cup of coffee and laugh with your friends. It's very you, serious. You doing them, Michael? Not personally. Oh. <laughs> and and if, if caught early, it, it, it's a non-issue. It really is a non-issue of caught early. So I do sound like I'm getting older now, but the more and more I'm out there and the more I read, the more concerned I am. And then, again, the more great things a lot of municipalities offer, including ours, when you see that skin check, it wouldn't hurt to run in there and get looked at. That's it, Ron. Thanks. All, all good. Very good ideas. Thank you. Very good. Oh, I'm sorry. DPW. Yeah. yeah sure. Brian will kill me. <laughs> the town is almost done. Brian said it is done, but oh, there's twigs, always people twigs, calling us. Twigs. Great Everybody's job. calling Great us, job. wanting to come get more and come get more, but Hanover Township looks better than almost any town. We're all in several towns a day. DPW did a phenomenal job. Brian Ferrand at the top of the ticket <coughs> couldn't be better, could be harder working. Um, I was told when I first began, statistics bore people, but I'm going to give you the tonnage and garbage they collected besides everything else. Oh. 420 tons last month. That's a little ridiculous if you ask me. These guys are great. They really are. Our fields are beautiful. And again, the trees, the pruning, above and beyond, working with private and public sector, very, very happy about these guys. The last thing that Brian wrote on here, and I hope I don't see it for a very, very long time, is any reference to snow and snow removal or, re or repairs of mailboxes. So that's it for snow updates this year, guys. Brian and the guys at EPW, thank you very much. Great work. They did a, now that's it. They did a pheno phenomenal job. Uh, a reminder, uh, both uh, Michael and I were at the uh, committee, and Halco and I were at Senior Citizens Club meeting last week, Wednesday, and we remind our senior citizens that uh, if you have brush, uh, you don't have to have it tied, but you do have to help us by getting it out to the curb in some fashion. Uh, let us know, call DPW, and Brian will have a truck pick it up. So for senior citizens, don't have to tie the brush, but if you get it out to the curb, we will, we will pick it up. So that's a comment. Another sidebar comment. You just heard uh, Committee Ben Gallagher on uh, tick bites, etc. You're examining yourself after being in a field and you've got areas of your body that are not covered. Look for the bullseye. If you see a red bullseye on your skin, you've got a tick bite. And do something immediately. Get to a position uh, and uh, have it removed and treated. So that's it. Uh, Deputy Mayor. Okay. The, the weather is getting warmer indeed, and planning activity is heating up as well. The planning board is in the process of recommending a relaxation of the residential side yard requirements. Um, this relaxation is based upon input from our Board of Adjustment, um, who regularly works with our homeowners about issues of this nature. So the Planning Board reviewed that request and is recommending to the Township Committee a new ordinance that will amend side yard restrictions that are caused by additions in a residential zone. This will provide a real benefit to our homeowners with the potential saving on average of maybe $2,000 if they're putting an addition onto their homes. Second point is economic development, EDAC. Uh, EDAC conducted on May 4th what's called a broker's open house. And the objective of the broker's open house was to discuss the Route 10 corridor. And much of the discussion of that open house included new zoning innovation which is taking place on the Route 10 corridor. So we are communicating to the brokers about our new signage, improvement in size of signs, the types of signs that could be used, setbacks, and parking requirements. This went over very, very well, and we will continue to dialogue with our broker community in an effort to commercialize the Route 10 corridor. Third point is from environmental, it's the green team. Led by Claire Matlin, Claire has undergone an effort 
to lead the green team in the process of preparing the planting of milkweeds along the Stony Brook Community Farm perimeter area. This is very important in terms of trying to increase pollination. Um, the good news is the green team is active in doing it, wants to get it done this month, uh, but at the same time they're seeking volunteers to participate to help that get that done. Um, Mr. Mahalko has been kind enough to offer his assistance in trying to encourage the scouts to participate and we thank him for that. one right there. See that? <laughs> there you go. Uh, actually, I do need conservation-minded volunteer work to rank up and get closer to Eagle. So what, how could I sign up to volunteer? We would love to have your involvement, especially from a leadership position as you progress in terms of evolving to, to get towards the Eagle status. So if you could bring out some scouts, that would be a wonderful gift for us. We'll get you, we'll actually, we'll ask you, what would work better for you, the scouts, on a Saturday morning? So if you could let Mr. Giorgio's office know what, which Saturday during the month of May would work, that would be great. Okay. Um, this, um, this part, very worthy project with this Um Process-wise, it still has to go before the uh, Stony Brook uh, uh, Farm and Garden uh, Committee for ultimate approval. Uh, there's been some questions uh, on the type of uh, vegetation that it is, where root uh, root lines, concerns, etc., and, and where it would be on the farm itself. So we, we will certainly get back with more information as to the planting and, and specifically where. So uh, that that'll be better defined. Put it that way. More news to come. More new, more news to come. More news. To Last come. but not least, <laughs> I can never forget about the roads in springtime. Oh, there you go. The quick road update is North Jefferson Road. The signs are up. Honor about well, honor about is May twenty first, weather permitting. That we'll see North Jefferson Road transition from the poor state it's in today into something that will be far more comfortable for you to drive on. So be patient with us as we get that done. Oh, very good. Very good. That concludes my remarks. Okay. Committee Member Halco. Okay. Uh, got some good news to report for a change. Um, not for a change. We've got a lot of fun stuff, especially in rec. Um, Water Department has reported that the pressure should be back up in the Trailwood and Countrywood. Um, their end of it has not been complete, but, the, but for our purposes, for residents' purposes, the pressure should be back to where it was before the incident. Great news. Uh, currently now? Great news. Currently now. Great news. Well, that's good news. And I have, uh, they had forwarded me, uh, uh, Ms. Cummings and uh, Ken had forwarded me some emails from residents thanking them for all of their help and saying that the pressure was back to where it should be. Fantastic. Uh, again, they still had some more work behind the scenes, uh, but that's going. So thank, thank them, thank the department for getting it back together and going in the right direction. Um, again, we had a nice meeting at the seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, we met with them, discussed the budget. Uh, Mr. Franciola did an excellent job of presenting it and explaining it to. Uh, that was always good to meet with them. Uh, it's such an active group, so a lot of good people. Uh, I always enjoy going, uh, so it was, it's, it's, it's a nice, uh, nice afternoon. So if you're a senior and you want to get involved, it's, uh, uh, it's the first and, first and third. Wednesday. First and third, thank you. First and third Wednesdays at 12 o'clock. Uh, they're always looking for new members. I believe their enrollments are over 300. One and, of the largest uh, in the county. Yeah, and, and on any given one of those meetings, there's well over 100, 150 attendees. Uh, and they're very active, a lot of functions going on which rolls me into the next one. We have a trip to the uh, Paper Mill Playhouse again, uh, which was very well received on the last one. That was The Sting. This time it's uh, uh, Halftime is the name of the play. And uh, there are still some tickets left. There's uh, dinner at Charlie Brown's involved with that also. Uh, $85 a ticket. That includes transportation, dinner, and the play. That is on June 13th, Wednesday, June 13th. Uh, you can check out the website to get some more information or give me a holler. Um, this Saturday we have our fishing contest at Malapartis Park. Registration starts at 8 a.m., goes till noon. There'll be a contest for uh, 
uh, fish caught, biggest fish. Um, resident children up to age 12 are, are uh, welcome to participate, but everyone is welcome to come out. Again, that's this Saturday the 12th. Um, rolling down the list here. B Meadow Pool scheduled to open May 25th. That's Friday, Friday night, 5 o'clock. The pool is already opening. Uh, it's coming, coming quick. Summer's coming quick. We have um, uh, swim team signups are still available too. Please sign up for that if you've got some youngsters that want to come out for the swim team. Again, check out the website. Our camps, we had our camp sign up and they, most of them sold out pretty quick. Uh, it was one of the longest lines we've seen in a long time. Uh, out the door, around the corner for signups. Uh, we still have a couple spots left for the, let me get this straight here, uh, for the limited spots left for session one for the summer camp plus, that's for grades one through six. Traveling teams, the first session is closed, uh, but there's still some sections uh, for the second, still some spots for the second session. That's grades six, seven, and eight. They do a lot of fantastic stuff. Uh, Dave and Buster's uh, trips uh, all, all over the place. It's a really, really good program. Uh, and surprisingly, too, we still have a couple spots for the Youth Public Safety Academy. That was the uh, state accredited one that we got the awards for. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have a couple spots for that, too. So please sign up. It's a lot of great programs. Um, I got a. Mr. Lent stole a little bit of my thunder. I was going to comment on how well B Meadow Ponds are looking, uh, but it was on the front page of the paper today, if anybody got to see it. And I, if you haven't driven by lately, it's been cleaned up very nicely. Uh, a big thank you to John Scagliosi. Um, he, I met with him. We, we, toured, the, uh, we toured the ponds. We, we looked around. And he's been very instrumental in keeping it moving forward, uh, very active. And these are, the, these are the residents that we need, and they, they don't always go... Um, they don't always get the recognition they need, but John did a, a great job. He brought Bruce Brucey out uh, to clean up some of the, uh, the reeds around. Bruce does an awesome job in town, too. Um, so I want to thank, thank all of those guys that came out and helped. Uh, and, of course, the DPW, Brian and his crew, um, again, did a great job. Next time you're by there, drive by the ponds. It's, you know, we have a beautiful asset there. And uh, we have a, uh, the boating warrants will be coming around for the final approval soon. May 24th. May 24th, next meeting. Uh, so hopefully we get some boating going on, too. Um, one more thing. Memorial Day Parade is on Memorial Day, Monday, May 28th. Uh, if you're not marching in it, come out and support. It's great to see everybody. Yeah. Looking forward to uh, marching with these guys this time this instead year. of with my kids in the back. Day, huh? Great day. Um, yeah, hopefully you don't need my rain shoes. <laughs> no, no, don't even talk like that. <laughs> Sunblock. So, Sunblock. Sunblock. Yeah, and I believe that's it. Oh, that's great. Very good. Uh, recreation department has been absolutely terrific. Uh, a couple of items. Uh, this one here is a heads up. Uh, I intercepted in my emails today that came to the administrator and myself, and we'll be following up on this. Uh, this is from the DOT. This is in regard to something that they call pavement preservation projects. They intend to undertake a pavement preservation project, and I'll have to learn more about this, Route 24, Route 287, and Route 78. So they're giving us a heads up, and they want, they, they submitted several maps, which we'll be looking at, engineering department will be looking at. Uh, we'll respond by May 21st, because they're looking for alternate routing. Alternate routing, folks, tells me, red alert that uh, the benefit that we have in the highways is wonderful, but at the same time, we all know that if anything occurs on these highways at all, our secondary roads here in our town take the brunt of the punishment. So we'll have to learn more about what this is all about, and we'll keep you posted you know, as to that. Uh, regarding the Stony Brook Farm, we heard something, uh, a comment earlier by Deputy Mayor on uh, plantings that they wish to do there. Uh, there will be further discussion by the committee, uh, Stony Brook Farm Committee, on May 17th that morning. May 17th that evening at 7 p.m., once again, I remind everyone that has a garden over there. And by the way, 63 of our gardens have now been committed to. So uh, on May 17th, 7 p.m., at the Recreational Center, there will be a full meeting of those uh, gardeners. Uh, we'll discuss openly uh, any 
issues, concerns, thoughts you have regarding the garden as, as we get going. But it's really, it's really moving along in, in high gear now. We're really proud of it. Uh, one other thing that we're proud of, and um, what I'm looking at right now is a registration uh, of some 42 programs this month, 42 programs this month that have been undertaken by our Whippinong Library. Uh, these programs are for school-aged children, even younger, uh, right on up to adults and seniors as well. We've had uh, over 1,180 uh, participants in these programs. I, I can't speak highly enough about uh, the library and the kind of lectures and programs that, that, they, that they enter into. Um, stop by, pick up some flyers for this month. I had a handful of events that are coming up and uh, I, I, uh, take advantage of it is what we're saying there. Uh, any other uh, comment from the Township Committee at this point? Ron, I just want to say one thing about the library when you're on it. Yeah. Is all the programs that they do and all the amount of, I, I don't think people would realize how many people go in that library every day. Do you know, at budget time, they, they never ask for a bigger increase than every other department. And the amount of people they service and the amount of activities they have is phenomenal. <laughs> Bank for the buck, it's right in that building. So they're, it's they're, phenomenal. Yeah. You are absolutely correct, uh, Ace, when you talk about them in that regard. They're not municipalized. Not to get into what municipalized means, but if they were municipalized, we would have to contribute uh, a certain percentage of, uh, of a, what we call a mill uh, for taxes to them, which would be multi-million dollars. They do not ask for that. They're a private library. They operate on somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a million dollars a year, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, with the amount of programs that they enter. This year they'll enter into some 248 programs. So can't say enough about them. Maybe that next meeting if we can, if, if you can announce how many people actually go in there every year. Because when oh, I yeah, first started, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, we can give you statistics on that. It's multi-thousands. It's yeah, great. That you Thanks, Ron. Yeah. Very good. Um, motion, if there's no further business from the committee, motion to adjourn. So moved. moved and seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we'll continue on with our conference session. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'd like to, like to, uh, uh, I started laughing so hard when you said that. When you said IP2. Yeah, you started to laugh, and then I started to laugh, and then Jerry started to laugh.